Madam President, it's good to see the European Parliament debating gender discrimination and poverty tonight, although you think they might have allocated more than five minutes for such an important debate. I note, for example, that all of the top seven EU jobs are currently held by men, so the EU certainly has a little bit of a way to go in this respect. Whereas the UK has, of course, led the way in many of this, these issues. For example, in science and, res uh, and research, where the UK leads the way in terms of having six of the top 25 universities in the world, but also the percentage of women in science and research jobs are much higher than across the European Union. And we had our Equal Pay Act in 1970, three years before we even joined the European Union uh, and well before the European Union legislated. We have 52 weeks of maternity leave guaranteed in UK law compared with the EU uh, requirement of 14. In fact, EU rules put car insurance premiums for women up by £300 a year. So really, is the EU really part of the solution or is it actually part of the problem?